Hello everybody, welcome to the channel, hope you're doing well. Today we've got the top 5 head of youth developments you can get for your team of Football Manager 23. Last week we covered the system manager's link up there, and our aim is to create the perfect back room for you to have in your club. And this list is spot on. Number 1, he's unemployed to start with and he's an absolute steal. Let's go and take a look. Number five on the list is coming from the championship and I'm going to give you a brief explanation of what we're looking for from a head of youth development with our first one and that is Mr. Stringfellow. Yep, he's in football and not nightclubs. I say nightclubs, you know what I mean. Now a head of youth development is going to have a key part in the youth intake and you're looking at the personality which is going to be huge. You don't have a bad personality there. Fairly loyal is decent, not the best. Formation is vital because you will get certain positions covered because that's his preferred formation. So if you wanted a right-sided midfielder or an attacking wing back we're unlikely to get one with this 4-3-3 and then of course we look at the stats of head of youth development work with youngsters judging ability and potential they're currently quite low for mr michael but he's only 40 years old he's going to develop very nicely if you're in the championship or maybe a, a lower european league this is going to be a great one for you so michael is number five number four on the list is phil the cannon cannon for any football manager veteran you know this lad already his rosy complexion and his beautiful manicured hair you'd argue he's the perfect coach all those stats above 16 perfect but for me he is the perfect head of youth development he's got the stats everywhere you want them he's a balanced personality which again isn't ideal and he covers three very good formations in the narrow 442 433 defensive midfielder and covering the wide men in a 4231 like we're talking elite level here whatever level you're at get him in he's a star and number three on the list we're heading down to the championship again i told you these would be accessible staff members and this one is going to be Derek langley he's 61 years old he's one of the older boys about but as a head of youth development he is bloody brilliant fairly professional personality which again is one of the better ones 20 judging play potential 15 player ability and 18 working with youngsters he's got a decent formation the 442 and that's all he's sticking to he isn't moving away from it very very attainable in this game because he's for swansea so snap him up number two in the list we're off to the northeast of england to steal somebody away from eddie and it's somebody close to his heart it's a relative is andy i'm guessing it's his younger brother 28 years old it can't be his son and andy is a very very accomplished scout to start with but as a head of youth development which he doesn't want to be but we're going to tend him because he's 28 years old one of the youngest staff members in the game he's already got a continental b license and was working with youngsters 16 ability of 13 potential of 14 very decent formations fairly determined personality he's going to be an absolute star for you he's been about the league starting off in pool up to plymouth burnley bournemouth and now resting at newcastle bit of a similar path to his brother you could say andy howe's going to be an absolute star 10 15 20 30 years in the game snap him up all right on to number one and this is the freebie i mentioned he's an absolute beast of a player before i show him comment down below let me know which staff role to cover next because there's loads more we can do so it'd be good chuck it down there and our superstar is ed vahid vahid i don't know where ed is looking over my shoulder it's a little bit awkward but what is not awkward are his stats amazing judging player ability and potential both 18 work with youngsters 17 he's only 41 he was on the books of southampton for four years they've got rid of him inexplicably because he's amazing his formations are four two three one so again you got a nice variety of positions that could come through the youth intake and a balanced personality isn't going to hurt anybody so there's your top target go and see if you can pick them up he's the best for me and he's not going to cost you a penny so there's your top five head of youth developments next week we're going to do another staff role comment down below which one you want if you did miss the assistant managers you can find that video right here and i'll catch you in the next one take care